this is the situation you want to be in, especially as a first time head coach where you're playing for something. It means something every night and obviously the playoffs is uh, ultimate when it comes to that. And so I'm looking forward to it and my staff as well, but more so getting the players on the right page and having them super prepared for what's to come. Celtics clinched the playoff spot from their proverbial couch last night. Their eighth straight. It comes with nearly a week off since you're not in the play-in. I think where the playoff piece comes into the picture for us as a staff is the standards that we're trying to have. Um, at this point in the season, there are certain things that are unacceptable. There are certain mistakes that we shouldn't be making anymore as a team and as a staff. So, you know, holding ourselves to a a postseason standard, I think, is where the playoffs come in. We don't talk about how far we think we'll go. You do want to have a day-to-day -day approach with the guys and just keep them focused and in the moment. But as a staff, I think the postseason part really comes into how you know the standard that we're trying to hold them to. Uh, you obviously, the coaches, we don't talk about it with the team, but we're looking at the standings to see where we're at. Uh, can't look too far ahead, but you are monitoring everything. Um, every game is important, uh, no time for setbacks. We really want to continue playing with the right momentum. Coaching in the playoffs is, is very different because you get to lock in on one opponent. The intricacies that go on throughout a series, the adjustments that are made by both teams, um, it's a different type of preparation. And I think you have to play with a sharpness that's not even close to the regular season because the other team knows you so well. JT actually made a comment to me the other day that you think that the fans are, are rowdy during the regular season, but you know, wait till the playoffs, it's something completely different. Everything will be ratcheted up, obviously, intensity-wise, and playing last year against Boston when I was in Brooklyn, uh, fans were just allowed back in the building and you know, saw the atmosphere, uh, obviously, helped them win that game three and game four when they opened the building back up fully. It was a crazy experience, but I've had enough of those as an opponent and looking forward to the fans being on our side. The, the Garden's a, a special place to play. The energy the fans bring to every game. Uh, our team is very competitive, but I think the fans are really competitive too. It's an environment that's hard for visiting teams to play in. But we know the fans will be behind us um, every regular season game. They're there cheering you on, letting you know if you're good or bad, and, and we appreciate that. The pressure it puts on you is expectations are, are warranted and wanted, and we, we you know really try to live up to those expectations. So the fans are gonna be crazy and we understand that and it'll only be a benefit for us.